wine tasting, and the reason why I wait so long was that I needed my friend to make the wine. So <laughs> we have been on tour a lot together, and um, the wine writer of Satyricon has become more and more interesting throughout the years, as uh, his uh, ability to know things from other things have changed, and uh, we share the same interest in wine and food, because when you're on the, on the road, when you're 20 years old, you just want all the booze you can get, <laughs> fucked up and play the show and you know, all that stuff. And when you get to be a little bit older, not old, but older, you find out that uh, you can't do that anymore and you want to do something else on tour. So, tasting wine has become a big thing for us, that we look forward to the wine tasting every night. So, we have a day off the next day on tour, and uh, I'm going to stop talking now because uh, he's actually going to present it. So, welcome to Satur. tasting, going into details on viticulture or vinification or anything like that. This is more uh, an introduction to uh, the Wundgarden project, which uh, now consists of two different wines, uh, but there will be more in the future. Uh, and like uh, Anus was pointing out in his introduction, uh, Life on the Road has been uh, partly responsible for um, my interest and passion for for wine. It started off by really enjoying uh, good food. I might not look like someone who really enjoys this food, um, but I do. Um, there are other ways of uh, balancing your love for food. Uh, so, and I think if you are really interested in food, Wine will come as a part of that sooner or later for most people. And likewise, uh, I don't really know that many hardcore wine enthusiasts that do not appreciate good food. Um, 